Hello everyone, hope you're ready for some gross because we definitely got that today. This is the floor of a hoarder house. It's supposed to be hardwood underneath all that filth and nastiness. And we're going to see what we can do to bring that back to life. So first things first, I need to move all this stuff out of the room and then I need to sweep the whole room. And by sweep the whole room, I mean ceiling and all. As you, you can see on the walls, um, there's a lot of that that looks like stains and dirt that's actually cobwebs. Um, I swept the ceiling, the walls, windows, window sills, and I must have removed, I don't even know, 100, 200 little bitty spiders, which is not fun for me because I'm, I'm not a fan of spiders. After sweeping, I'm going to take a shot vac and get all the extra debris out of the window sills and off the shelving. My purpose here isn't to make the windows and the walls and stuff perfect. Um, I just need to get the, the main debris off of it so that whenever I do the floors, all that stuff isn't blowing in, you know, through open windows or whatnot. My main purpose is the floors. Once I have all that done, then I'm just going to use a push broom and my regular broom to sweep up all the massive debris that I can. And there is a lot of it. So once I get into the mopping, um, what I'm going to do is I've got that pump up sprayer and I've mixed pine saw lemon scent at four times its normal strength. And I'm going to saturate the floor with that. I mean, there's going to be puddles of it. And then I've got a little red, it's like a broom, but it's got rubber bristles. It's meant to clean like shop floors and stuff like that. I'm going to use that to scrub the wood. And then I'm going to go back to Pine Sol and scrub again over and over. Now here you'll see me pull out my carpet shampooer and the intention with this is to not to use this as a cleaning device. What I'm doing is I'm using the fact that it's got water jets on the underside of it. I'm using that to rinse the floor and then I'm using the vacuum itself to extract the water. The bristles that are on this vacuum don't really mean anything to me because it's not really doing much to clean the floor. I just want to be able to rinse that really gross stuff off of there and suck that up into the carpet cleaner and then I can just dump out the bad water, put in new rinse water and then continue that. So you'll see me using that, then I'll switch back to Pine Sol again and scrub some more, then use the carpet cleaner to extract the water and I just do this until I've got a bare floor or at least a mostly bare floor. <laughs>
it took about, I think it was about five hours to get just all the heavy debris off of there. And then I went home and allowed that to dry overnight. When I came back the next day, I started out on the wall. And all I'm doing here, again, I'm not, I'm not trying to make this pristine by any means because this paint is ruined. Um, but what I'm doing is spraying pine saw mixed it four times its normal strength directly onto the walls and letting that sit for quite a while. Then I come back and use a drill brush attachment. And in this case, it's actually like a, a soft scouring pad. And I just use that to get off as many, many of the stains as I can, as well as uh, there's a, a thick layer of nicotine on everything. Now, the reason that I'm doing this, even though my intentions are not to clean the walls, it's to get that main layer of grime off so that whenever they, can, they go in to paint it, the paint will stick. Because as is right now, if they tried to paint this, the paint would not stick. It would bubble. It would uh, eventually, you could just peel it off with your fingernails. But if I can get a lot of that grime off of there, then at least they can put a really good primer on it and a product called Kills It um, to help eliminate some of the stains and then paint over the top of that and it should be good. I mean, in reality, they should be taking these walls out, but I'm doing what I can with what I have in order to make their jobs easier. Once I'm done with the, the paneling, I'm going to move back to the floors and I'm going to kind of do what I did the previous day. I'm going to saturate it with pine saw and then I'm going to mop that and I'm, I'm using pine saw mixed at four times its normal strength. And I'm really going to saturate that in. I want this, these floors to be soaking wet. This should remove the last of the really heavy grime and this should get us down to basically bare floor. A lot of what you're going to see left on the floor is just um, stains. Now while that's drying, I'm going to knock out the windows real quick and what I'm using there is 97% isopropyl alcohol, uh, two to three drops of Dawn dish soap and water. That's enough to sterilize the windows and kill anything that's, that's left on there. But the thing that gets them really clean is I use a microfiber towel to do the main cleaning and then I dry it with an ultra fine microfiber towel. The, those feel almost like silk. Um, but 
if you ever wonder how housekeepers get mirrors and windows really clean, like really clean with no wipe marks, it's the ultra fine uh, microfiber towel that does that. Now, once I'm done with the windows, uh, the floor is pretty much dry, um, at least as dry as I need it to be. So I'm going to switch to Murphy's oil soap and I'm going to mop the floor with a lot of this. I want to do the same thing with Murphy's oil that I did with Pine Sol. I want to saturate it and really get it to the, the wood to suck that stuff up because the wood, one of the reasons I'm saturating like this is because the wood is extremely dry. It sat empty for a very long time. Um, the hoarder mess that was on there to begin with had stripped off the varnish and the sealant from the old floor. So it's just basically bare wood that's sitting there now that has gone completely dry. So I want to try to rehydrate that as much as I can while I've got the opportunity. And Murphy's oil has oil in it, which is good for the wood. Then I'll let that dry for a bit and then do it again just regular. Like, um, in other words, I'm not going to saturate it this time. I'm just going to mop it like it's a regular floor using Murphy's oil soap. Now, while that's drying, I go to the window frames and baseboards and just wipe those down with Mr. Clean just to get the crud off. And the door was pretty nasty. Actually, both those doors were pretty nasty. So while I'm there, I'll just knock that out too. That's actually a, a pretty crazy difference in real life. I don't know if it's going to show up as well on camera, but in real life, it was like, holy crap. Now the very last step that I do here is something I don't normally do. In fact, I've never done it before on floors, but I'm using liquid gold, which isn't really meant for floors. It's an oil-based furniture polish, but the reason I'm using it on these is because there's no varnish or sealant left on this floor at all, and I needed something to, to maintain that level of moisture. As always, I wanted to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, that would be awesome. Um, I, I figured I would have like 200 subscribers and we just hit 12,000 this week, which is just insane to me. And I'll put a couple of links down in the description to some of the stuff I used, including the, the drill attachments, the little brushes and stuff like that. I do make a small commission off of those. I think so far I've made a whole $3, <laughs> but they make you say that whenever you put affiliate links in. So you done been told, son. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next week. Apologies if you got grossed out, because I know I did. <laughs>